Hey guys, check out my anime! It's me! Uh, anime. This is War of the Tribes. Uh, it's known for being very ugly. But it tried. <laughs> it tried. Alright. Uh, I actually think some... I can't remember which ones of these are, are renders, like, official content. Actually, this, like, this might actually be a, a custom thing, but just because it wasn't forced to be animated, it looks passable. Whereas then you look at this, and even for its time, these were obvious... I mean, they're right next to a stock asset, so you know. You know! By the way, you're not even supposed to click these. These are meant to, like, make it all protossy because it's it's meant to be Protossy. Oh, look, he even he animated the... Dude, he turned Artanis into Goku before StarCraft II, man. He's a real fucking Nostradamus over here, man. Future man. Uh, oops, that's that's the real anime campaign. Sorry, guys. Uh, War of the Tribes. Here we go. All right, intro. War of the Tribes by Gabriel Sorrel. Well, I can't make any jokes about his name or anything. It's not like it rhymes with gay. Moogle. And then a Dragoon. Okay, well. There you go, dude. Gabriel Sarl. I'm very excited. <clears throat> I actually tried to run this campaign a, a, some time ago. As you can see, there's quite a few missions. I think uh, it looks like it ends at 17. Mission 17. There's a couple of cutscenes here, the intro included. Uh, so, uh, I'm not sure how that... It looks like those are numbered as 11B or 16B or something. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know what to expect just yet. Just expect anime, man. That's all I got for you right now. Let's get into the intro, dude. No more further ado. Oh. I see. Oh. Well, after much hard work, this campaign is here. Several months later than expected. Some things didn't work out. A lot of things worked about better than expected. This campaign serves as a starting of the war with the fourth, fourth race, later to be known as the Onat. Originally, there was going to be a sequel, but I know now that will never happen. So I present War of the Tribes in its final form. Enjoy! Why? Why do we have a self-insert? And why is he a Dark Archon? That's my shtick. You can't steal from me in the past. And now we have got more exposition! The protests were at a dangerous point. The Conclave was gone. The Judicator cast had collapsed. And the psionic link binding all protests broke down, replaced by apathy, ambition, and hatred. A call for a new way of life went through the tribes. The tribes abandoned the Kala and began to develop a new way of life all their own, while at the same time growing more and more apart from one another. All the while, Duran continued the hybrid experiments unhindered. End of briefing. Press start to begin the intro. I'm gonna have to remember that that's that guy's voice. I can't believe that he actually self-inserted himself into his own anus in the fucking first mission. At least wait. Man, go beyond, dude. Give me something before you animate me. God damn it. Ah! Okay, I get it! Clack Echo! Ah, fuck! Oh, he's using it for everything! Oh, no! Oh, man! Xenomorph Duran! Oh, God! Jesus Christ! A beep a ba ba! Oh, oh, he walked up and he said hello. How are the prisoners? They've been moaning and screaming all night. Can't get the bastards to shut up. Please, end this torment. No more tests. No more torture. Please. He must be playing Legends of Arcane. Try to keep some of your dignity and honor in intake. <laughs> be honored that your tainted strands are even being used in this experiment. Maybe we should put them in with the Zerg. That'd shut him up. Understand that they have more value to me alive than you do. Keep that in mind. Oh, shit! Well, dialogue is a bit entertaining anyways, so... There's that. Dude, look at Duran. Isn't this so immersive and walking around? Soon, young ones. We are so close now. Can you feel it? The day of birth when you shall enter into this universe. The legacy of the void. Oh, no! No, special thanks to Clack Echo. Jesus Christ. The fans. Patient enough to wait. Well, that's a funny way of calling them. I would have said a different F word. Oh, fuck! God damn it, dude. It's getting louder. This is probably not even Clack Echo. It's probably Clack.wav. Because Echo was... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
activate sensors over Shakuras. <laughs> yes, sir. Signal established. The Ara tribe is engaged in defending Dark Templar forces. Ara outnumber them at nearly two to one. An estimated time of defeat for the Dark Templar in 38 hours. More than enough time for the Executor to return and find his people at war. He will most doubtly aid the Dark Templar. Clear the screen. Locate the Omega. Scan it. <clears throat> Locate it. A Zera tool found on the Rim World Al Shane. There is some interference blocking the sensors. It has begun. Send a message to Dagoth. Tell him to move to the Omega's location and keep him there. Message sent. Receiving an incoming transmission. Audio only. The source unknown. Report Alpha. Testing of the gene splicing is proceeding as planned. We are drawing closer to perfection with each new test. And the O U. I am taking care of the matters personally. He is not aware of his past at this time, but he has an extensive amount of knowledge that will prove useful once he is recovered. I'm not reading that in that fucking voice. Do not fail in this task, Alpha. The Omega must be returned. We do not see the logic in meddling with Protoss affairs as you have. I have never failed you. Do not worry. The OU will be returned by the time you arrive. A transmission ended! Soon, my brother. Soon we will be together again. And together we shall remove this taint from the universe. <gasps> Is there a taint? Leak sap. Oh, man! Oh, you can't do that! No, 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 no! Get that off the screen! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! I forgot. It starts you off in the next mission. Well, there you go, dude. That was the intro. I hope you guys are pumped for this campaign. Holy shit! Return to Shakuras! Ah!